Cyanobacteria are photosynthetic eubacteria. Two billion years ago, cyanobacteria and other photosynthetic bacteria dominated Earth. Today, the descendants of these organisms are still common in ponds, lakes, and oceans. Cyanobacteria are prokaryotic organisms. The prokaryotic cells of bacteria are very different from eukaryotic cells that make up plants and animals. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. DNA molecules of prokaryotic cells are circular in structure. Prokaryotic cells are usually smaller than eukaryotic cells, less than 10 microns in length. Prokaryotic cells are very simple in structure. They do not have organelles found in eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells do not have a cytoskeleton. Cyanobacteria are photosynthetic, capturing energy from the sun and evolving oxygen just like the land plants. In fact, Cyanobacteria are responsible for the generation of most of the oxygen in the atmosphere of the young Earth. Cyanobacteria live in a wide range of environments, from extremely cold lakes to hot springs. The hot springs of Yellowstone National Park are a home to various species of cyanobacteria. They are responsible for the orange and yellow color seen around the perimeter of the hot springs. Cyanobacteria often live on the surface of layered mats. These mats were much more common in the geological past and many became fossilized. Fossilized bacterial mats are called stromatolites. Cyanobacteria have other interesting features. For example, some have modified cells called heterocysts. These heterocysts have the ability to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to form ammonia. This fixed nitrogen is ultimately available for the growth of the cyanobacteria or for the growth of nearby plants. Another interesting specialized cell of cyanobacteria is the aconite. An aconite is an enlarged, thick-walled cell which is heat and drought resistant. The aconite cells allow cyanobacteria to survive extended periods under harsh conditions. This video has illustrated only a few of the most important features of the cyanobacteria. For more information on this fascinating group of organisms, consult a textbook on biology, botany, or microbiology.